Today we're talking about the Manfrotto Compact Action Tripod. So this tripod will run you about $70. It's got a bunch of cool key features, which I'll get into right now. So for the legs of this tripod, they're four little clamp system, super easy to undo, extend, and bring back in. And basically you can open and close it in seconds. As for the head itself, it's got what they call a pistol grip. So you hold it like a pistol. Then this little wheel right here is how you tighten it or loosen it. So I'm gonna pull it towards me to loosen the head and you can move it as freely as you want. And then when you got a spot that you want, you push it away from you and it locks it back straight into place. And this little latch that you see at the bottom, that's how you release the mount. So I'm gonna pull it towards me. It opens up and I can just easily pull out the mount in front of me. One of the things I do like about this tripod is that the mount is super easy to attach. You don't need a tool. All you need is your fingers to screw it into the camera. And then all you have to do is line your camera back up with the hole. Make sure that this is engaged and then your camera should be all set. Once the lock is engaged, I can loosen up the grip of my camera and then move it in any angle that I want to or path that I desire. Then another thing to note is this little latch on the side. You can see a camcorder icon and a camera icon. All this little latch does is kind of lock the camera into one dimension so that you can't accidentally spin it while you're moving. So if I latch this to camera, I can freely move this in this plane or direction. And then my latch, just all this does is kind of like lock the camera in so it can't turn as much in that general direction. So fully extended, this guy reaches for about 52 inches, and then if we extend the neck. You get about 61 inches, so almost my height as you can see, you basically get five feet and one inch. It's a fantastic tripod to get for someone who's a beginner or doing a lot of work inside mainly because it's not the sturdiest tripod. If you fully extend it all the way, the legs get thinner and thinner and thinner, and you can see them start to bend the more weight you actually put on them, which isn't a good sign if you're gonna be using a lot of camera gear. So this tripod is perfect for someone who's using a standard size DSLR with a lens that really doesn't get bigger than a 70 millimeter, because once you put on a 70 to 200, you're gonna start to see the tripod off balance and shift weight to one side, which may end up causing the tripod to fall over. So after talking about all the different features of this tripod, the things I really like the most is the pistol grip of the tripod because it just fits really nicely in your hand and it's very easy to get a hang of how you wanna position your camera. You don't have to worry about three different knobs that you have to tighten and loosen just to move your camera an inch over. Now the downside of that is once you get your camera into a position that you want, if your camera is too heavy, it might cause the tripod head to just go off about a centimeter. So sometimes you might have to literally just inch your camera looking a little bit up, expecting the tripod to shift just a little bit after you let go of it. Then another thing I do really like is the fact that the tripod mount itself, you can literally just screw it in with your fingers. You don't need a tool or a gadget to tighten it to the bottom of your camera to then connect it to the tripod. Now the only downside of that is you do sometimes forget this on the bottom of your camera. And I have had a situation where I was using one of these that wasn't mine, it was someone else's. I left the tripod mount attached to my camera and then the tripod itself was a half an hour drive away. So I did have to go back and return the little piece to the tripod owner. So as I was saying, this is best for indoor uses, mainly because you won't have a lot on your camera, mostly inside, because when you're outside trying to bear the elements and it's a windy or rainy day, this isn't gonna hold up that well, especially if you have a lot of camera gear on this. It might fall over, it might get blown over by the wind. So this is mainly best for beginners who don't have a lot of gear with them and are looking for a cheap, compact tripod. So. I did measure it out, but I didn't show you how small it can be. So fully, like, not extended at all. This really doesn't get that big, about a foot and a half, just from like looking at it. This could easily fit in a bag or outside of a camera backpack with a few easy few straps. So it does come in a little drawstring bag, which is actually super useful. It fits nice and easily into the bag. You just have to make sure that the tripod head is fully down. It does sometimes get caught in the little switch on the end to extend the neck. And once it's zipped up, it easily just fits over your shoulder. So if you don't have enough room in your bag or your camera bag, you can easily attach it or just throw it over your back. So in summary, 
This is a great tripod for beginners because it was actually one of my very first tripods that I started using when I got into photography. This helped me out in a lot of scenarios and made it super easy for me to line up the shots that I wanted. I did eventually progress to a stronger body tripod, either one that's made of aluminum or carbon fiber to hold up in the elements. And as I extended the legs on that one, it doesn't get weaker, it just stays the same strength because it's the same strength of material going all the way down. So in a quick summary, this is a fantastic tripod for beginners. I'm saying this because this was one of my first tripods I started to use. It's cheap and affordable. It can easily be carried and packaged in any kind of bag that you need it to. It maintains a good amount of weight for a new beginner camera who just has a DSLR and in one lens. And allows you to get a bunch of different angles and varieties with the different heights you can put it at with the clamp system and the neck system. It's also awesome for vlogging like this. If this is the only tripod you have, it's very easy to set up in front of you and on the go. And that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.